Yeah, good morning. I came to Benavis around 15 years ago from, uh, from uh, Edinburgh in Scotland to London to Japan, then to Benavis. For, uh, most of my working life I was working in, uh, in finance, in the banking industry, in the, uh, in the money markets in particular. Now coming, coming to Spain uh, 16 years ago, my first choice was definitely mainland Spain. My uh, uh, political experiences in Spain, they probably began around 2007 when I, you know, I used to meet the, uh, the old mayor on a fairly frequent basis and we would talk about uh, culture differences between the foreign population and the local Spanish population. And the two are, the two are quite distinct. I think the foreign population here are fairly, uh, fairly well off, shall we say. Most of them are retired and they have needs, they may have needed. I feel very much part of the community and um, I think I've always had a fairly good social conscience. So whether, as I mentioned, you know, whether the people are pensioners, retired, or whether it's a young family with children who need to go to school, they need to go to the local schools, I and the team in the town hall will do our best to help them out. Um, initially, we had two English speakers there's now probably five in various departments. I think the, the, the main reason, I think a lot of people get involved with politics because something's broken. I think I'm getting involved in politics because I think the current government and Benavis have been doing a great job and all they need was help in um, polishing the finished product. And our, in my case, it's the, uh, the foreign department or the foreign residents who've come and have chosen to come and live here. It's a long-term decision. It's not a holiday decision. So anything I can do to help them with my culture, my background, has got to be good for the area. I, I think it has to come down to the, the culture, culture thing. If you, if you go to any, uh, any municipality, you know, whether it be uh, from Torre Molinas to Manilva, to Estepona, to Marbella, to Benavis. I think if you roll the clock back 10 or 15 years, they weren't, they weren't, yeah, they weren't ready for the tsunami of foreign residents that were coming to live here. But, but we're here now. And, uh, you know, God bless them, the English, the Germans, the Dutch, the Russians now, spend their pension or spend their income in this country. So if there were, were any obstacles, it was because the town hall, or the town halls, we're not ready for this influx of foreign devils. And, uh, but now we're here, and I can only speak for Benavis, but uh, Benavis have accepted that these guys are good for the economy. They spend money, they spend their income, they spend their pension, their relatives come and visit here, they have holidays here. Well, the most effective way, the most effective way is to help your community. And this, this is local politics, you know, we're here, we're uh, the town hall, the ayuntamiento, anywhere, it's, it's a public service, you know, we're looking after the people, so whatever is right, we should be doing it. For example, uh, behind me, which uh, you can get a shot of later, we have a, a new guarderia, or kindergarten, and that was because maybe uh, eight years ago, you know, we identified that uh, there's a shortage of places in the Guardia There were 42 places and every year we had 70 kids applying. So every year there's a few kids left out and they had to find another solution. So we took, a, we looked for funding, we looked for funding from Andalusia, from Madrid, as I mentioned, and the project was created. We built a new Guardia with 72 places, which is great. So that kind of covers nearly all the kids. Unfortunately, what we didn't see coming was the crisis in Spain, crisis globally, whereby central government makes a decision, and the decision is to have government cutbacks. So the government cutbacks are at uh, the macro level. The micro level is the guarderia. So, you know, we built the uh, guarderia, 72 places, everything's hunky-dory in the, in the kindergarten. 
And then we found because of the government cutbacks, we couldn't employ two new teachers to cater for the extra 30 kids. But we found a way. So we opened a year late, but everything's been resolved. I believe there's four teachers in there now. There's 70 kids. You can hear them in the background. They're happy. And uh, what a great start in their life. You know, they're on the edge of a park. The gate's open. They come out and play in the park. They're happy. Hopefully they'll continue in the, with a great education and end up at university one day. <laughs>